Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Love Love Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to create a digital downloadable product for your Magento site. So to get started, it's nice and easy. We're just going to go where we went before. We're going to go to Catalog, Manage Products, and then we're going to click um, New Product or Add Product. It's up here in the top right, just like before. And this is nice and easy. So we're just going to have the attribute set as uh, being default. Um, and if you want to see how to create an attribute set, you could check out the previous tutorial on creating an attribute set. And let's say you have one for um, MP3, you have like an audio CD or you have a video, whatever you're trying to sell that's a digital download, you can create your attribute set specifically for that. Okay, so now we're going to select product type as downloadable product and click continue. Okay, now we're just going to give this the product name. So let's say you're selling an album. Uh, this would be the album's name. You wouldn't have the individual tracks here. We'll get into the individual tracks later. Luckily, Magento makes it really easy for you to just create an album, add your tracks, and then you can sell the tracks individually as well if you'd like. So we'll just come up with an album name. We'll just call this, you know, test album name. You can call it whatever you want. And the SKU, of course, uh, this isn't a real product, so I'm just entering some numbers here. Of course, you want to have your real SKU. If you have a um, an album, you probably have a, a SKU number for it. Okay, tax class, um, you know, this is whatever it's going to be. Um, we'll just select none for now. Uh, visibility, we want this to show up in our catalog and search. Okay, that's it for the general prices. This will be the album price. So let's uh, put the album as $9.99 and uh, cool. Okay, so if you'll notice, there's not a ton of extra stuff here. Um, there's nothing crazy yet. In fact, this doesn't really get totally different until the very bottom if you notice this downloadable information here. So let's go to images. We're going to want to add an image. Um, of course, let's just grab something from my downloads folder. I'll just upload it. It's an image from the five fingers of death. Okay, let's save this. And we're going to set these to be all the same image. Okay, and now in description, we're just going to put um, new album and of course you might want to put the track list here but when we, once we upload individual files it's going to have those uh, track lists so this is whatever information you want to be about this album design we're not going to change the design for this gift options we're not going to touch inventory um, quantity we're going to put I mean as just put this as uh, a ton because we're never going to run out okay and even though it's a digital download, you can still manage um, your inventory. So let's put this in. Um, let's see. Even though this is not a tutorial, we'll put it under Tutorials Magento Tutorials just so we have more stuff there. Actually, I'm going to take it out. I'll just leave it in Tutorials alone. And we don't have any related products, no upsells, no cross-sells. Uh, custom options. We don't have any custom options, but downloadable information here, right here on your left, this is where we get to the good stuff. So you can actually have samples. Let's say you want people to hear a small bit of the track without uh, being able to hear the whole thing or take the whole thing. You can put a sample here that they can listen to. Maybe you have like an audio watermark on it or something. Uh, so this is where you would upload your samples. Um, we're just going to add links though. Um, so the title, let's say, uh, let's just call this tracks because this is going to be, let's say, an album. So our title is tracks. Um, links can be purchased separately. Yes, uh, they can. Okay, so let's add a new row. And in this row, we are going to say track one and then what's this track? We'll, we'll just, um, let's see, we'll pick a, a song here. Um, stars okay it's just a bunch of audio I have in a folder here and you can say this track individually is 99 cents uh, max number of downloads is unlimited uh, this will be like how many times they get to download the track if they buy it I'll just leave this as unlimited because if you bought it then you bought it you might as well be able to have access to it um, shareable yes or no use config um, yeah you're gonna want to set this up in your config we'll go over that but um, we'll just leave it to use config and then if you want to have a sample, you can select this. If you don't, you can uh, just have your file here. Or you can have them both be the same thing. Let's go to music. I'll grab this song, track number 14. Okay. And uh, I'm actually just going to use the same one as a sample. That way you can just check it out. 
And if you look, if you'll notice here, you can actually have these hosted somewhere else on another URL if you don't want to upload them here. Um, but if you do, it's nice and easy. Sort order, we're going to put this as zero. It's going to be our first song and we're going to upload files. Okay. Look like that worked fine. Let's add a new row. Let's add another track and track two. And we're going to call this one. Um, let's just use cities and we're going to use the same price, 99 cents unlimited. Okay. Same thing. We're going to just going to upload. Okay. Grab this and grab this upload your files. Okay, so that should be enough to get, get the point across. We're going to put this as sort orders one. It'll be the second track. Now if we save this and uh, we should see our new product showing up here. So let's actually go to our site and uh, check it out. Um, I always like to, after I save and create a project or a product, I like to just sort of scan this page and see, okay, downloadable attribute set is default, SKU, price, quantity, visibility, uh, status enabled. This way um, you can sort of see if something's not showing up. Because if all of these are the same and they're all showing up, uh, then that's usually a pretty good sign. And if you're having problems with uh, finding something to show up, that's the first thing I would usually check. Maybe you didn't click enable or, or something, or it's not on the main website. Okay, and it looks like that isn't showing up. So this will give us a good opportunity to troubleshoot and see what we did wrong. Like I said, we scanned this. It looks like main, main website enabled, catalog and search. Okay, so those are some of the usual um, suspects for what went wrong, but there's one more I gotta check. Under inventory, um, I noticed I put the quantity here, but I did not change the stock availability from out of stock to in stock. So this can happen, um, and I, I'd say it sort of frequently happens if you're new to working with Magento, or even if you're, you haven't worked in a little bit. Um, there's all sorts of stuff where um, one little box can be not checked and then it just won't work or won't show up. So check, make sure your stock's enabled, uh, make sure your status is enabled, your visit, your, it's in the correct visibility, and you should see it show up. So we'll refresh this page, and now we have our new album. It's a sweet picture. We'll click on this. And uh, so you have two different tracks. One, of, of course, has a sample. Um, if we click this sample, it's going to open a window, and it's just going to play this. Okay. So now they can get an a, a idea of what this song is going to be like. However, uh, if you were to have the full track as the sample like I did here, they're going to be able to probably download this because this is just linking to a track here. Um, there's all sorts of ways you could end up grabbing this track. Um, let's say you could inspect it. I think the file is probably just sitting here. So I would not have the sample be your full track. Maybe have it be a, a 30 second loop or something. Um, just to give the user an idea of what the song sounds like, but maybe not the entire song. Okay, so now we have two tracks. You can choose to buy them individually for 99 cents. Um, if you wanted to do this, you would uh, you could say, you know, notice how the, the product is $99.99. $99. We might want to change this to be zero, and then every single track they add is, um, is 99 cents. But let's just add this, add this to our cart right now and see, it's gonna make us select our options. Let's go back to our product and let's fix that. So let's edit. And that's downloadable information. And uh, so here, each track is 99 cents. Um, yes, they, we still want them to be able to be purchased separately. Um, however, let's go back here and let's say the general price, we're gonna have this be zero. Okay click save and continue, or we'll just leave the save and continue so we can keep editing it if we have to. Now if we refresh, each track we add is going to be a little bit more. Of course you can always have it be so they have to download the whole album if you want, or you can have individual tracks as individual products. There's all sorts of uh, flexibility here and Magento really offers that and it's great that they have this downloadable platform built into the uh, Magento software. So if we want to click this, you can see it's in your shopping cart. All's good. We proceed to check out, and it will provide the purchaser with the links to download. Okay, well, that's how you create a downloadable product in Magento. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment on the video or hit us up at Twitter at LevelUpTuts. Once again, this is Scott, and thanks for watching.